Hey guys, welcome to Retro Gaming Rocks. Today I want to talk to you guys about two game collections for the Evercade that I just received. The Intellivision 1 and the Intellivision 2 collections. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we have uh, the games in uh, these uh, two collections. So I'm gonna go one by one and uh, show you just a little bit of the uh, gameplay and then we'll move forward. The great thing about the uh, Evercade Versus it's that you can put both cartridges at once in the console and so you don't have to be switching cartridges and um, you know wasting time on that. So let's take a look at some gameplay here. The first one that we're going to uh, look at is Astromash. I actually like this game a lot. It's sort of like Space Invaders except that you're, you're destroying uh, asteroids and meteorites that are falling on you. Uh, so it's a, it's a lot of fun. So here are the uh, asteroids or meteorites that are falling. And uh, your job is to shoot them and destroy them before they destroy you. Um, the great thing about this game is that some of the bigger uh, meteorites, when you break them, they break down into a couple of pieces, even some more. Um, and so it, it gets pretty, some of, some of them are, are fast, others are not that fast. Uh, but uh, again, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy playing. All right, the next game is Auto Racing. And I gotta be honest, I, I didn't like this game. Um, I couldn't get used to the controls. Uh, of the car. I don't know. I've never played it before, so I guess I have to go back and, and try to get used to this. Uh, but it was very difficult to keep the car on the track and to turn. Uh, I, I just couldn't get it. Um, so, you know, I might have to go back and give it another try, but, you know, it's there. Um, so maybe if I go back to it and try to figure out the controls a little better, I might like it. Uh, but, uh, no, you know, it's a no for me for now. Um, I really couldn't get into this game. So uh, let's check out the next one. All right, so next in the collection is Buzz uh, Bombers. This game is loads of fun. So what this game is about uh, is you try to kill bees with a spray, as you can see here. And you got to kill as many as possible because they keep coming down. And if they get all the way down, they will plant flowers around you. And eventually you won't be able to move. Now, every time you kill a bee, you make a honeycomb. And you got you to gotta destroy the honeycombs as well. Because when there's too many honeycombs, the, the bees cannot move past them. And so they just can come down really quick. And so you got to destroy not only the bees, but also the honeycomb so the bees don't get down. Um, because again, if they do, then they'll plant flowers and eventually you will not be able to move uh, and you lose. So you can see there how, you know, they just planted some flowers. So the more bees that come down, the more flowers they plant and eventually they surround you and you can't move. But this game is lo uh, loads of fun. I played for a long time, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it as well. So next, um, we have Cloudy um, uh, Mountain. This is uh, an adventure game. And this is one of the things that the Intellivision did really well. Um, adventure games, uh, action RPGs, which other consoles really couldn't do, at least not uh, with the quality that the uh, Intellivision did. So it's great that we have this game here. Um, so this is like a dungeon crawler so you go through the dungeons and then you gotta fight the uh, enemies or monsters that you find um, but it's great it's a great game the dungeons appear as you walk obviously you know the capabilities of the Intellivision were limited at that time just like the Atari 2600 but they did really amazing work um, with this with this console so I mean, for the era to have a dungeon crawler like this, I mean, was really something. Uh, so this is a game that I think I'm going to enjoy a lot. I've never played this one before, but I'm really sure that I'm going to enjoy this game. So I'm looking forward to playing it again. All right, so this next one is Frogbog. 
And this is pretty fun as well. So you got two frogs on floating leaves uh, or lilies, I guess, water lilies. And they got to jump and, and uh, catch the flies uh, in the air. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, you know, it's kind of a silly game, but you do enjoy playing it for a little bit. Um, I, I, I did enjoy it, and I think I'm going to go back and play it again because it's kind of fun. So this is one of the games that I really enjoyed um, in, the, in television. So uh, this is Frog Bog, and it's one of the funnest games in this collection. All right, so this is uh, Hover Force. It's another innovative game in the uh, in television. So once you set up the game, um, you'll get to the screen where, where the helicopter takes off. And the purpose of this uh, game is to bomb uh, strategic areas um, on the screen there. Um, and you'll see other helicopters around and you can shoot them and, and, um, and so on. Um, it, it's, you know, it's, it's something that you didn't see in other consoles. I mean, the Intellivision really pushed the limits of this console and did a great job at it. I mean, for the era, the, this uh, game, you know, was something, something great. Uh, I didn't own an Intellivision, but my friend owned one. And I sometimes was impressed at, you know, the, the graphics uh, of uh, Intellivision games versus my Atari 2600. Um, and you know, I was lucky that I, I got to play this a lot when I was a when I was a kid, uh, because I can appreciate um, these games uh, today, and I appreciate what the uh, Evercade is doing. You know, putting these collections together because this again, you know, brings back a lot of memories, and um, you know, it, it, I, I enjoy them a lot. So I hope you guys do as well. All right, so this is Motocross. Um, this is another weird game with uh, weird controls. Um, this is a game that I'm going to have to play again to try to figure out the controls really well. I've never played this game before, um, and so I found it very difficult to figure out, um, you know, the turns and all those things. Um, it was difficult to also see the uh, motorcycle uh, on the track. Um, all right, Mountain Madness Super Pro Skiing. Um, another game with difficult controls. I really couldn't figure it out, um, you know, how, how to move in any direction for certain. Um, I, I sort of, you know, started pressing the D-pad randomly because nothing else would work, and, and I did move a little bit. Uh, but then I got stuck in between trees and the end of the screen. I couldn't move from there at the end. So I, I just gave it up. Um, I, I have to go back to this game as well as, you know, the motocross game and the um, auto racing to, to sort of figure out the controls because I'm sure there's a way. I just, I just couldn't do it at the, at the moment. So I'm going to have to go back to this one as well. All right, so the next game is Night Stalker. <sighs> So this is sort of a, a dungeon crawler as well. So you have to, uh, you know, get the gun and kill uh, the monsters and the enemies before they get you. Pretty fun. Um, just, you know, got to figure out the best way to shoot at the uh, enemies because I tried to shoot up and I couldn't do it. Um, it was easier to shoot to the right than shoot to the left. So I got to go back to this one also. But I really want to want to get good in this one because... I like this kind of games, um, and um, you know this this looks like could be a lot of fun. So this is one that I'm going to uh, to go back and um, again, you know, try to figure out the controls really well. All right. So the next game down the line is pinball, and. Uh, you know, it's it's a pinball game. It's not the greatest uh, pinball game, but it, it's fun. The only thing I don't like is that you don't use the shoulder buttons to move the arms in the pinball screen, uh, which should have been the shoulder buttons. You actually have to use the A and the X button to move. So it's kind of weird how you have to hold the controllers. But nevertheless, you know, it, it, it's, it's not bad. It's kind of fun. Um, if you like pinball, you probably will enjoy this a little bit. Uh, but again, it's not the greatest pinball I've played 
on older consoles, there's some other better options. All right, next game is Princess Quest. I had a lot of fun with this game. This game is has a lot of action. Um, it is a platformer. So you are running away from these dragons that are flying and uh, they'll try to kill you. So you got to shoot them uh, before they kill you. So you got to climb the ladders and jump and uh, you'll get power-ups and things. So it's a really cool game. Um, I can't wait to go back and play this one. It's a lot of fun. Uh, again, you know, great game for the era. I mean, you know, I haven't seen anything like this on any of the 8-bit consoles of the era. So this is an amazing game for the Intellivision uh, for that era. So I am really enjoying this and I want to go back and play it. All right, this, I don't know what the hell this is. Reverse C. Um, no clue on what to do. Um, nothing I pressed caused anything to happen. I have no idea what this game does. I pressed every single button. I pressed every direction on the D-pad and nothing happened. So I have no clue what this is. Um, so I don't even know if I'm gonna go back to this. All right, so next is Shark Shark. Um, and this is a fun game. You are a small fish and um, you got to swim in the ocean and eat smaller fish than you. Uh, but you have to evade the bigger fish, uh, especially the shark and the crabs and the lobsters, because they will, they will kill you. Um, so as you can see, I died right there. Uh, but it is a fun game. Um, I really enjoyed it. I want to go back and, and play it. I've played this before. Um, so this is not new to me, but it is a lot of fun. Next is Sharp Shot. <sighs> I have mixed feelings about this game. Um, it's one of those games that you really don't know what's going on. So there's two arrows at the very bottom and you're supposed to fire those arrows at those moving targets there. Um, I don't know, really weird. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just shooting the arrows and sometimes it would get something, sometimes not. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go back to this game. Um, didn't find it fun at all, uh, but you might. So if you like it, uh, check it out. Okay, next is Slap Shot, Super Pro Hockey. Uh, I don't like sports game whatsoever. Uh, so I am not going to go back and play this. But, you know, you do have to admit that for a console from the 80s, I mean, this is really good. It looks really good. Um, the perspective of the game, I mean, they really did a good job. I mean, the Intellivision definitely was a console that, you know, was really innovative uh, compared to other consoles of the era. So I do have to admit that for a 1980s console, this, this really did a great job. But not my cup of tea. I don't like sports games, so I will not be going back to this. Okay, this is Snafu. Um, it's, it's pretty much, you know, a fun game. It's not, it's not bad at all. It's these two little flashing things that uh, draw a line as you move them. And so the purpose is to block the opposite um, a player. So in this case, I'm the blue. I'm block. I'm playing with a computer, so I'm blocking. I need to block the um, the, the uh, red line from moving any further, as you can see now. So that's it. So you know, it could be tricky. It's strategic, um, but it, it's it's a fun game. Um, I, I would play it again, definitely. Okay, um, this is another game that I struggle with. Um, it's again the issue with the controls for vehicles in this uh, console um, very weird I couldn't find my direction um, I, I don't know you know I don't know if it's me or it's the game that you know it's meant to be played with the actual in television controllers but I had a very difficult time with every single game that involved a motor vehicle uh, in a track. I mean, it's just really weird to point the car in the right direction. I don't understand why. So, you know, this game, 
I found it very frustrating, but I will give it another try later. I'm, I'm going to try to figure out the controllers, but it is crazy frustrating. So I don't know if you want to try this. All right, Star Strike. Um, uh, kind of weird game also. Um, so you're flying the ship, and then you got flying saucers coming after you, and you got to drop these bombs on them. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say about this game. Kind of weird. Um, it's not a shooter. It's like a bomber. And um, I, I honestly didn't feel like I was hitting anything. Like I, I was just, I felt like I was just, fi you know, dropping these bombs randomly. Um, so I don't know. I didn't find it fun. I don't know if I'm going to go back to this again. So this is uh, the Cathlon. Um, you know, it's a racing game, so a running game. So um, you just press the up uh, direction on the, on the D-pad over and over, and you run to the finish line. So, yeah, you know, not very exciting, but, you know, if you like that kind of game, uh, sure, why not? Okay, so the next one is Thin Ice, and uh, this is a fun little game. So in this game, you are a penguin, uh, ice skating and um, you have to run away from the seal that is coming after you to eat you um, so it's fun you know it's not anything extravagant but uh, it's a fun little game um, so that's a uh, thin ice okay so this might be my favorite game uh, on these collections thunder castle so this is an amazing game for such a limited console. So in Thunder Castle, you are going to be fighting a dragon. And so you leave the castle and you, you sort of go on a quest uh, through the forest. But as you can see, the forest changes. Uh, it's like a maze. And so it changes as you go and you can get locked in and then the dragon will get you like it's happening right now uh, but it's amazing for you know the era that they made this game on this console so another uh, action RPG um, on the Intellivision this is called Tower of Doom uh, great game um, so as you can see you are in this tower and so you got to escape um, and so you got to move through the tower but as you move through, you encounter these enemies, these, these monsters that you got to fight. So as you can see, you know, you can move and, uh, you know, go into different hallways, into different areas of the tower. But every time you make a turn, you're going to find some monster, some enemy that you got to kill. I mean, again, you know, something amazing for a console that came out in the 80s. I mean, these games are just incredible. So I really enjoy this one as well, and I am definitely going to go back and play it. All right, so this is Vectron. Um, so a weird sort of game. Uh, in this game, you're going to be shooting these moving objects. Um, hard to really define what's going on. Um, I was just shooting um, kind of randomly. So I, I don't... I didn't get the gist of this game um, in this short play. I am going to go back, though, and try to figure this out a little better. Um, but again, you know, another shooter, um, but pretty undefined uh, as far as what's going on in the game. So I have to go back to it and, and check it out again. All right, so this is Word Rockets. It's an educational game for kids. Um, I don't even know why they included this here in this collection. Uh, but anyway, you just grab letters and shoot it to form words. Um, and I guess that's it. You get points for as many words as you can form there. Um, again, you know, this is a kid's game, so not something I'm going to go back and play. And the last one is Zombie Madness. So um, this is a, uh, an action platformer. Um, so you gotta run away from the zombies and go up and down 
uh, you can move things in the game. I really didn't play it that long to sort of figure out exactly, you know, what to do. But, you know, it seems like a fun game. Uh, another game that I'm going to go back and try to figure out. Hey guys, so there you have it. Uh, the Intellivision Collection 1 and Collection 2 for the Evercade. Now, I have to be honest with you, I didn't like all the games. Um, you know, there's some games that I don't like. I don't like sports games. I don't like some of the games that had weird controls. Um, you know, I guess I can get used to that eventually, but, you know, I, they were my favorite. Uh, but, you know, if you, if you got this collection, uh, let me know in the comments, you know, what games you liked, what games you didn't like. I mean, you know, for 20 bucks per cartridge, you get 24 games in total. Uh, it's not a bad deal. If you were to buy this individually for the Intellivision console, you would spend a lot of money uh, doing so. And so this is a great deal. So anyway, if you watch the video, if you like the video, uh, please consider uh, subscribing, clicking the like button and the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with new videos I upload. Again, I thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing and I'll see you on the next video.